today my future talk is going to be about the intelligence, knowledge and wisdom. Can anybody tell me the definition for IQ, intelligent quotient, intelligence quotient? Quotient, yeah, IQ, IQ of a person, yeah. How do, you define uh -huh. How do you define that? Yeah. Okay. And the test would be a definition of quantify for Napna, you, you say it's IQ. Uh, actually, it is the number or score which indicates a person's intelligence or wisdom. Okay, in order to, the, uh, the formula for that is, it, it should include the mental age of a person and the chronological age of a person. So, uh, what is that mental age? Mental age of a person is his capability of reasoning, his capability of recalling the facts and his capability of solving numerical and logical things, etc. So, that divided by the chronological age of a person and when it, that is multiplied by 100, it gives the IQ of a person. Pardon? 100. So, that gives the, uh, that gives the IQ, IQ of a person. So, there are 9 levels of IQ. So, the, if the person's outcome is below 20, after doing all this calculation, if it comes below 20, then the push person should need help. That is, throughout his leaf, life, somebody should be there to help him. So, that is the lowest level of intelligence. And if the after calculation, if it comes around 100, then it is the IQ of a normal person. So, maybe my intelligence quotient is around 100. So, if it crosses, that is, if it is 110, then uh, it is said that a person is superior in, in his intelligence and wisdom. And if it is above 140, he is said to be very genius in his intelligence and wisdom. So, let us look uh, the wise people of this world. Uh, how much, like, um, uh, what was their intelligence quotient? If we consider Sir Isaac Newton, he was a great scientist and mathematician. So, his IQ was 190. And Albert Einstein, a physicist, had 162. And a great math mathematician, Pascal, he had IQ of 195 and the famous painter and draftsman Leonardo da Vinci had IQ of 205 and in the one Indian Dr. Saram Vishweshwaraya who built the Krishnaraja Sagar Dam in Mysore and he was also a Diwan of Mysore he had the IQ of 275. So, this world recognizes these people as intelligent people and wise persons. But our father, gracious father, he considers obedient and faithful persons as intelligent and wise. So, Bible says, the fear of the Lord 
is the beginning of the wisdom all power knowledge wisdom comes to us from god so he gives us everything when we completely surrender ourselves to let us consider the examples from examples from the bible the wise people from the bible let uh, anybody can you open uh, daniel chapter 1 verse 20 daniel chapter 1 verse 20 read it for me please daniel 120 amen so Daniel was found 10 times better than the wise people of this world because he was the son of god he completely surrendered himself to god so you can imagine if a magician's iq is around 300 10 times more means his iq will be around 3000 so one more example from the bible is king solomon read it for me first kings chapter 3 verse 12 first kings chapter 3 verse 12 so from this verse we know that see that uh, for the uh, solomon's wisdom so god gave him that wisdom there was none like him before and also after him so he was more intelligent than daniel so let us not run behind the knowledge and wisdom of this world let us ask god for his wisdom and knowledge because the hour of judgment is at hand so let us pray for that let us com- uh, completely surrender our hearts and soul to our merciful god this is my feature talk for today thank you